Okay, hi everyone, this is Mikey. I'm going to give you a little overview of my bench test of my Modbus spindle setup. Um, what you're seeing here are the only inputs and outputs of my box so far. This is the uh, serial connection in, uh, 10 gauge power wire coming in, and an eco gate connector with the uh, iGUS chain flex power cable going to the spindle. So, opening up my box, we can see the Hitachi X200 uh, variable frequency drive. Um, and you can also see the uh, RS45 adapter as well as a RJ45 breakout connector. Um, you need to use pins 5 and 6 off that R, uh, RS45 um, to go to the RJ45 that runs to the input here on the X200. Uh, we've got just the power wire coming in, single phase 220, and then uh, the three phase uh, motor line outs there. Um, over here we've got my 2.2 kilowatt spindle sitting in a, the new CNC Rider Parts 80 millimeter mount. Um, the little reflective tape here we'll use with the digital tachometer so I can show you guys this working. Um, I've also Thanks to Gary, uh, bought into those eco gate uh, connectors, and I went ahead and set the spindle up with one so that I could use the nicer power cable. So, give all the motion, but we'll go back to the machine. Uh, my machine currently still has my Hitachi router on it. Uh, after I make this video tonight, I plan on breaking it down and getting the new wire ran. Um, this will be the water cooling setup. You guys have seen pictures of that. Um, as well as the dual radiators here on the back. So I just got a little file that I'm going to run um, just to demonstrate that it actually works. So I'll hit cycle start. I went ahead and set a 15 second delay to let the spindle uh, power up to 24,000 RPM. Um, after that the machine will start moving. So we'll hit start and I'll show you the output on the VFD. I don't know if you heard the little click, but I plan on uh, using the intelligent relay to drive my water cooling setup only when uh, the spindle's on. You can see the output on the VFD shows 4,000. Um, that means it's running at full speed. Uh, the 15 seconds has passed. The machine is now moving. Um, and as you probably heard, the spindle powered up. It's rotating and see if I can show you here, we'll do a little test, that's the digital tachometer showing that it's running, so it looks like the file's about halfway done, um, the machine's over here running, as soon as it finishes we'll see the spindle power down. Just completed. And you probably heard the click. As soon as the spindle stopped, the intelligent relay uh, coil circuit opened, and that would have shut off my uh, water cooling setup. And now the display shows uh, zero, zero. So that is the Modbus configuration that I've got so far. A um, little more work to do on uh, implementing the box, getting everything set up for the water cooling, waiting on some more connectors. They should be here tomorrow. Um, get, that, get those in, get those installed on the machine, get the wire ran, and uh, the new plate drilled and tapped, and we should be in good shape. So, more to come, guys. Thanks.